This is Business Tuesday only on Y254 channel. My name is Miriam Masava. And today we are going to discuss matters branding. How do you brand your business? So you've started your business, but it also needs to be marketed. You need to market this business. And the first step to marketing is branding. How do you brand your, your business and how do you go about it? Do you need a professional or not? Yes, you can interact with us. You can tell us how you did and how you, you branded your business on our social media platform. That is Y254 channel. It cuts across. So our handle is Y254 channel. Yes, or you can tweet me directly at Miriam underscore Masava. The hashtag to use is Y254 updates. And to bring this topic into perspective for us to understand and how to go about it is Sherastin Mengo. A personal branding specialist. Did I get it right? Share right? Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for getting it right the first time. And <laughs> not many people do. Sure. Yes. Come on. You hear Share you're like, ah, okay. <laughs> that is a company or that is a name? It's an outlandish uh, name, but uh, I try to avoid using it. Mm. I like uh, to use Mango. Yeah. It's simpler, easier. Yes, Sherastin so, is more like a tongue twister. People are not sure whether they are shrubbing it, whether they are saying <laughs> it right. So, <laughs> very yes. true, very true. You yes. can, you're not sure whether you're shrubbing it or <coughs> you're just cor pronouncing it correctly. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Otherwise, Karibu Sana, thank, thank you, you for making time. Thanks so like me. I said, here I am, I've started this business, of yes. maybe selling something, and I've gone through the process of naming, of naming the business, uh, registering the business, and now I'm thinking of the process of marketing and you know the first step I'm thinking is branding this business so for people who are just watching us for the very first time that they don't know what branding is so kindly explain to them what branding is uh, to start with I would say uh, a brand is not a logo <laughs> yeah a brand is not uh, what people call uh, merchandise a brand is a promise a brand is reputation, mm -hmm. and uh, a brand is identity. Yeah. A brand is a differentiator. So now, when, when you're taking your business out there, you want to come out uh, with a difference. You, you don't want to be like all the others. So before you take your business out, before you market what you have, you ought to ask yourself, what is my differentiator? What makes me different from other businesses that do similar things as myself? or other business that businesses that produce uh, products similar like mine. Mm. So a brand is a promise. What is the promise you are making to your client when you're starting your business? Mm -hmm. There are those who promise that I will give you quality products. So that is, you, that is your brand. So anytime you sell, the message that mm -hmm. remains with your client better be mm -hmm. your products are quality products. So it's about making a promise and not only making a promise but keeping that promise. That is what a brand is. Also, oh, for a startup, for a beginner. Yes. So he is selling something in a certain location. Mm -hmm. uh, does the name really matter of the business? If I'm selling rice, should I call it rice in in Y254? <laughs> Well, you can call yourself Rice King. Uh, rice yeah, king you in know, Y254. You're the king of rice, <laughs> but uh, you, the name you have, mm -hmm. at best. Uh, it best describe what some people use the name to give the promise, as I said before. Mm -hmm. When you say rice king, you're giving a perception that you have all the rice in this world. Any kind of rice I want, I will find it with you. Yes. So it best that it's best that your name describes what you do, or at least the promise you want to make to your client. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, from branding, what I'm getting is your identity, the commodity, the naming, so how do you connect those things hmm, to ensure yes. that your message is passed or is the message is similar to, to what you're selling? So I'd put it this way. Mm. You will start with the name first of all. Some mm. people like to name their businesses after themselves, like me. I am that uh, egotistic. <laughs> I like to name. I, I like to. I, I, mm. I like my business to mm. come with my name. Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? I would do that because I want to be held responsible for anything that happens in my company. Okay. Therefore, I am holding myself to the highest levels of trust and reputation. Mm. Therefore, I have to ensure that everything that goes out is quality and its value. There are those people who want to name their businesses after their initials and everything. 
but the backbone is the promise. Talk of your tagline. What does your tagline say? Okay. Your tagline, there are people who choose for their tagline to say what they do and who they do it for. Mm. There are those who choose the tagline to give the promise of their products or the promise of their service or the promise of, uh, of, uh, of what they are going to provide. So this, these are some of the steps you will take. Then there is your brand colors. Every color means something different. And uh, most uh, graphic designers, that uh, professional ones, you talk to them, they will tell you what, color, what each color means. Like you will go to many hotels, you will see orange. Mm -hmm. Orange gets you hungry, you know, <laughs> for some reason. Well, corporate colors, you won't miss a blue. Blue is stability. So all these colors have their, have their meanings. Mm -hmm. What does your logo communicate? There are people who use uh, their, their names, just the, the brand name as the logo. There are those who use initials, there are those who use pictorials. But when you talk to a professional graphic designer, they will be able to help you go through all these steps. Mm. Yes. Okay, you've talked about the promise, uh, the person giving the promise of products or services. One thing that is actually coming out is the market research. Does one need to do a market research before even starting a business so that you can be able to do a good brand? for your business, branding of your business? Market research is indispensable for any business unless you want to launch something that nobody wants. So <laughs> sure. you, mm. you look at, uh, uh, let me use the example of big corporations. Mm. They spend a lot of money in market research. That is why you see them launch a product and it picks up like this. Yeah. Because they have spent time and money on market research. They have found out what exactly the market needs, what exactly the market wants to consume, and sometimes what the market is looking forward to. Maybe they are bored with what is in the market already. So it will help you to be futuristic also, to understand uh, what the market really wants. There could be what it is in the market, but maybe the market doesn't like it or is looking forward to an even better product or service. Mm. So market research will save you a lot of money. Market research will save you a lot of time and effort. Okay. So it's indispensable. Okay. Yes. So you've done your market research, you've identified what exactly is needed in the market, you've identified your target audience. Now you want to start a business. Where do you start from? Is it graphic design, communication expert? Where do you start from <laughs> in I mean, matters of uh, branding? Mm? Yes. All, all, these, uh, all these are elements that you need mm. when you talk of graphic design. When you talk of your target market, something we, we had not uh, discussed, your target market will determine so much of your branding. Because your branding will, will create a certain perception mm. before your, your, your market. Sure. Your, market uh, your market will respond to the kind of branding you will do. Because there are people who use branding to even segment their market, mm. to uh, keep away some people and attract some people. So uh, your audience will determine a lot about your branding, uh, or the people you want to target and the people you want to attract. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I don't know how I would give that sequence, but I think it begins with you, the entrepreneur, when you're starting. Mm -hmm. Why exactly are you doing this? You need to put all these things down. Why am I doing this? Who am I doing it for? You need to describe your client in detail mm -hmm. so that you know what their needs are, what are their ages, where do mm -hmm. they live, mm -hmm. what do they do, where, how, in what quantities do they even consume your product or service. Mm -hmm. Then once you've done this re uh, introspect, you have uh, questioned your business, now go out and find the professionals to help you bring out this image or, or uh, let me say put out mm -hmm. this business. Mm -hmm. Professionals including graphic designers, uh, people get uh, professional business coaches, uh, mm -hmm. Get a mentor. That is something that I wouldn't forget to say that we young people need. Mentor. Get a Mentorship. mentor, someone who has succeeded in your area mm -hmm. or in another area but can hold your hand and show you the things that uh, you have not yet experienced. So let, let me just bring in the matters of uh, matters mentorship. Yes. And you know there's this perception that branding is actually expensive. It's really quite expensive. Yes. Yeah. How do you convince a startup to get a branding? I, I, let me say, sometimes you don't have to spend a fortune to get these uh, kind of services. Mm. There are different uh, professionals at different levels. If you do your research well, mm -hmm. uh, there are different, uh, different levels of professionals. There are those uh, who are at the level you can be able to, to, to afford. 
If there aren't, then uh, they, sometimes you can teach yourself these skills. There's YouTube. Yego went to the Olympics from <laughs> YouTube. So I, I think <laughs> you can learn these things and do them for yourself. But if you can afford a professional, please involve a professional. Mm -hmm. But if you can't teach yourself these skills and uh, make use of them. Mm. Yes. Yes. And for someone who wants to start the process of branding, how can they find genuine professionals and avoid frauds? There are so many frauds out there. Do we have like branding companies or individuals like yourself? Yes, they are there. There are many. And uh, this day, today in the on online world, everyone is an expert. Even <laughs> someone who has worked with only one person is an expert. Sure. But I would say uh, investing your time in research and then uh, ask these people what they have done before. Mm. It will help you to understand if they know what they are doing or they are just phonies. Mm. So take your time to research. Take your time to find out who they are and at least let them show you who they have worked with before or what they have done before. Then you can be able to gauge their skills and uh, whether they are able to help you. Yes. yes. And you can tell us more about your, your organization. Yes. Yeah. My, my company is called Mango Concepts. I deal uh, specifically with uh, personal brands because I believe in uh, people. Mm -hmm. I believe in people more because you are the owner of the vision, you are the, the driver of, the, of your mission. So uh, I, 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 I help you to understand yourself, why you're doing what you're doing, and help you to put yourself out mm -hmm. to the market so mm -hmm. that the market can trust you because they know who they, whose court they can hold in case anything goes wrong. So personal branding helps you to inspire trust. Okay. Yes. Uh, do, do maybe you can mention some of the common mistakes uh, that startups make up while looking for branding and they can avoid actually? One of the mistakes I would say is going straight to a graphic designer. You don't <laughs> do that. Do serious introspect, sit down with yourself. Right? If you have a team, sit down with your team, understand why you're doing what you're doing, who you're doing it for find out exactly who your ideal client is. Who, if I asked you today, who is your ideal client? If you were to meet that client that you would say, yes, this is the one. What are their characteristics? List them down, all of them. Talk about your market, your geographics. Get all these details before you go to a graphic designer. You mm -hmm. make his work easier mm -hmm. and you will help him do a better job for you. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I would say is introspect. The second thing, seek mentorship even in terms of branding, look at some of the best brands in your industry, understand what they have done and why they have done it, mm -hmm. and learn, learn from the best. Okay. Yes. And uh, your business has grown. It, is, uh, it has grown like for two, three years. Do you need to do rebranding again after a few years? Rebranding uh, is, is, uh, is a, a somewhat difficult decision, the way I see it, because <laughs> now it's like you're starting anew. Mm. You see, so rem uh, think of it in a way that you know it is a risk you're, you're taking. Mm -hmm. Your market could totally misunderstand what you're doing. You mm -hmm. could lose customers. Mm -hmm. But uh, I say that there is always a new customer out there. But ask yourself, why are you rebranding in the first place? Why do you need to rebrand? Some people rebrand because they feel like they are not attracting the right kind of clients or they are not making the right gains in terms of market, uh, market share. But uh, really question it. And uh, if you feel like it's the best decision for your company to take, then uh, go ahead and do it. But at least understand why exactly you're doing it. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Mengo. Any final comments uh, before we end the show? I will repeat the same thing for young people especially. Mm. Seek mentorship. Yes. Yes, seek mentorship. Yes. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. You. Mengo, for Thanks making for time to, to join us here. Yes. Well, one thing that I can say is branding is not a logo yeah and seek mentorship before you start a business well that was mr mango our branding specialist well thank you so much for tuning in and for staying with us here on y254 today being business tuesday my name is miriam masava and also i want to thank 
Flo and Elvis who are behind the camera and Hilary our director Andy Vaughan and the rest of the team thank you so much for making this production and well thank you for always staying tuned in and sending in your feedback using our social media platform that is right to fight for channel and my handle is Miriam underscore Masawa well good night until next time God bless you don't go anywhere because the buzz is coming up next Wana usema usema mbinu ufuata mwendo na basi runinga Y254 tunafuata mkondo huo kwa kisha tunalea vipaji na kupa burudani kupitia vipindi vya mziki majadiliano na elimu pia tunaangazia masuala burudani na kukupa exclusive kutoka kwa mastaa uwapendao Hey yo mambo vipi this is Alicia Selichi Na bora bora bisho tobo babo tile brown ni a shifo ni a mnyo shadi Na boy kwa report iko nini cha kufanya unamwambia rafiki amwambie rafiki tupo katika vingamuzi vyote vya digitali Boom shot. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs>